We are going to create a movie app that parses JSON array from URL using Retrofit and display movies into Recycler View exactly like this app. Hello my friends and welcome to Master Coding channel. If you want to learn coding and start your programming career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like so you help us making new tutorials. Let's begin. In the previous video, we have parsed our movies from URL using the Retrofit and displaying it into Recycler View. But what URL and what type of movie of uh, JSONs and what is the shape of the JSON that we have created and now what is the difference from the uh, previous video. So back to our URL, we see that this is an array and we have an object and second object and the third object. Now, in this video, we are going to parse JSON data the same way, but different in its shape. So we have an array here and called movies. So what is the difference? This is the difference. This is a nested object of type array that we have going to parse in this video in the same way and uh, in a professional way, step and step as I uh, show you in the previous video. So this is the, uh, the, the objects. These are the objects. And the same way these objects are stored in array called movies. In this movie, movies uh, array, we are going to parse it in JSON. Now, we open our Android Studio. We go to here. And the, the, uh, the, the same application and the same uh, movies application that we have created before, we are going to continue with it and display it in order to save the time and in order to get better and better and focus on what is the difference uh, between the link of uh, or the array of the uh, uh, movies displayed in the form of JSON and that differs from the previous um, uh, video. We create a new class. I called it JSON response and I will increase size. Now, in, inside this JSON response, I will create a private movie and I will create it an, as an array because we need to parse the movies array in form of array. Now, getter insert getters and setters. These are the getters and these are the setters. Now, uh, just one uh, thing I need uh, to show you guys. Very very important to understand this concept because the movies here is named different from what we are going to parse which is the movies array so the movies array differ from movies so we can uh, we need or we should put here a serialized so i can make a serialized name and i will put it as in the json file what is the name of uh, of this in the JSON file and I will need to expose or I can or I can I import class or I can remove this and say here I will remove all this and I name it as movies okay okay guys either either you name movies the same as movies or even if you want to change it you can you should use the serialize and uh, the uh, expose annotations now let's add the the getters uh, the getter and setter and this is the final step in this class so this is our json response in uh, the class that we are used we are going to use in the next step.
Now, movie application API. This is the movie API. I will change the list because it, it is not the same as now. So it was getting what I'm doing, guys. It, it's very important to understand what I'm doing. What I'm doing here, I was parsing a JSON list of type movies directly. But now we are going, we uh, these objects are put or inserted inside an array. So I need to change this list and make a JSON, JSON response json response and a call of json response i need a call and i need the results in form of a json response so what is the json response it is a form of an array of type movies exactly if you don't understand this please repeat the video because this is very important to understand the concepts of what the the, the coding algorithm and the coding in retrofit it's very important, guys, and I uh, I prefer to understand it very well. Now, now I need to change also the uh, link. So I will copy before we have this link, and after I will copy this. Okay, copy. And as I told you, it is a relative uh, link. So it is the secondary, the main link is the, is the same going to the main activity here we have an error so what are these errors i have created a list of movie movie list and the error here inside the call now everything is the same as before sorry i have removed this I need to concentrate uh, with me the, this one minute, this one minute. Because I have changed the list, I need to parse a new response call of type having J uh, JSON response. I will remove this and I will create call.inq. It's the same, but I'm changing the parameters. New callback and call of type json response what i'm going to get when json response the same way as we have created before i need to create here the json response json response and i will create a json response instance and i get the response dot body I'm getting the body of the response here and I need to store the data or the response in form and the objects of, uh, of in form of a list of movies. Now you remember this guys this uh, method it has a parameter and getting the parameters of type list so I need to get the data here that I have in form of an array list and not an array. So I will make movies list. This is my movies list. Movie list equal new, new, sorry, array list and here I am going to convert, converting the array. I'm going to convert the objects in uh, the array to arrays dot as list. I'm going to convert the array to array list. JSON response dot get movies array. This is type array. And the last one, I'm going to call the our movie or put the data into recycler view method. Let's run and see how it will work. 
So remember guys, if you want to learn more about coding, you can download our uh, master coding uh, application and you can rate us five stars on Udemy, get source codes and all uh, these source codes freely on Udemy and the resources below and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to help us and rate us five stars in order and uh, subscribing to our uh, YouTube channel in order to make uh, us making new tutorials. Now, let's see the request this is the request and it is working fine i think everything is working fine uh let me check i will remove this all source codes of uh, these uh, applications that we are making on these videos on channel uh, you can get them on uh, on our YouTube uh, or sorry on our uh, Udemy course. Check the below for the offer. And here we go. We are working fine, guys, and everything is exactly that we have done and planned. Thank you, guys. I hope you stay safe from Corona, and I wish you uh, better coding, and I wish you happy time with coding thank you guys see you in next videos see you in next videos